and dedication to educating Kansans about sustainable agriculture and farm safety through her work as project coordinator of the Kansas Agribility Project Extension Farm Safety Program and Kansas Center for Sustainable Agriculture and Alternative Crops. In this capacity, she provides consultation and review of proposals for sustainable agriculture, research, and education for the North Central region. She has written several grants and publications to further the cause of sustainable agriculture in Kansas. In addition to the formal nature of her work, Carrie is an incredibly intuitive leader and supportive colleague. She has a keen understanding of the complexities involved in the Kansas agriculture and natural resources scene, along with a dedication to helping others make the connections required to make environmental education a reality across the state. During her time with Kansas Agribility and Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education, or SARE, Carrie has secured almost $3 million of funding for professional development for natural resources, agricultural professionals, and extension specialties and programs that provide education for youth and adults on farm safety and health. From local farm tours to regional and national conferences, Carrie actively and thoroughly educates herself on the importance of sustainable agriculture and farm safety. The most important piece of Carrie's work is she makes sure that the knowledge is disseminated across the state. Her collaborative spirit, determination, and genuine goodwill towards others make her a true leader in the Kansas environmental world. Rachel Miss Libby, who nominated Miss Ebert for this award, summed up Carrie's contributions to environmental education in the following, quote, a true collaborator, Carrie constantly strives to find what works and makes it happen. Her fingerprints can be seen in so many outstanding sustainable agriculture projects. She leverages her position to secure funding that expands educational opportunities through various organizations with diverse perspectives across the state. For her passion and dedication to connecting the community to sustainable agriculture education, we are pleased to honor Carrie Ebert as our Agricultural Agency Outstanding Educator of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Carrie. Round of applause. <laughs> Carrie was unable to join us for the CD celebration as she's off in the land down under. Here to read Carrie's statement is Laura Downey. happened that uh, the awardee was away but she is down in Australia and was working on getting on Skype to do an acceptance speech and we thought maybe that would be better if I just read it for her so um, she wanted me to express to you the following thank you Casey for this most unexpected but very welcomed award for environmental education thank you to Rachel Mislevy and Mary Fun for advocating that I receive this award it is humbling to be recognized by an organization for which I have so much respect and which does so much more for promoting environmental stewardship than I could ever do. And to have been nominated by agricultural women for whom I have so much respect and admiration for their passion for agriculture and their personal integrity, well, I'm simply moved beyond words. With friends and colleagues who are so optimistic and enthusiastic about agriculture and our ability to modify practices and preserve our heritage, it's a joy to go to work every day. Congratulations to the other award winners. <laughs> <laughs> Reading through the list of accomplishments of each of the other recipients, it's easy to see there is serious positive momentum across our state for environmental education and stewardship. Thanks, Casey, for bringing us all together and highlighting the collective progress. I apologize for not being here tonight. Honestly, if I were there, I would probably start crying. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Enjoy the evening and sunset soon, my all-time favorite, too.